everyone, Rob from Multihog here, sitting inside the cab of our multi-purpose sweeper, our CV model, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to drive the machine and operate it as a sweeper. So first thing, switching it on, you've got your key on the right side of your steering column, switch it to the first posi position, dash will light up, and then just turn the key the rest of the way to get the engine on. Now, I'm sitting on a high back air right seat, so I want to get comfortable, so I can adjust my air. And I can also move my position forward and back in the seat, so I have a lot of adjustment. I can adjust the um, how far back the seat is leaning as well. And then on the steering column here, I can push down on the um, on the lever on the floor of the uh, steering column. I can pull it back towards me here. And, and I also have tilt on the steering column, another lever further up, and I can tilt it there so I can get really, really comfortable before setting off. So on the machine, to drive from point A, very, very simple. There's a keypad on the roof here where I've got three buttons labeled one, two, and three, and that's for selecting my drive speeds. Um, so at the moment I selected speed three and that'll give me my full speed range zero to 25 mile per hour or 40 kilometers per hour. And if I wanted lower speed and more torque, I could switch down into speed two or speed one. Now the machine is um, hydrostatic. So you'd be selecting that as your stationary and you're just choosing your speed range by doing that. So down here on the um, right hand, uh, Armrest, I've got all my controls. Um, so it's very, very easy to get a hang of. I, I don't have to move around much to adjust anything. It's all here um, at my fingertips on my right hand. Something I really like about the machine. Now, if I'm going to drive the machine, I can select my drive speed, but I want to select my drive mode. So you have this um, two position switch here where you've got um, the road symbol, which is for drive mode and then you have your work mode, the hammer symbol. So I have it switched into drive mode at the moment. Now here then I've got my forward, neutral and reverse switch. So I just wanna switch it into forward. Then I have my accelerator and brake pedal down on the floor. So it's really like driving a car where I've got forward, neutral and reverse. I have my speeds on the keypad there on the roof line and then I've just selected drive mode. Making sure my handbrake there is off, which is the button on my steering column. And then simply I press my accelerator to start driving. Another feature I like about this machine is the turning radius. It is superb. I have amazing mobility in this machine. Then if I'm coming to a halt and I need to do it fast, I can press my brake pedal and that will really help slow me down. And the machine is hydrostatic drive, so it does slow down on the hydraulics as I lift off, but very, very smooth machine to drive. All right, so to show you how to run the machine as a sweeper, first thing is it's very, very simple on the unit. All I need to do is switch from drive mode to work mode here, and then off the push of a single button or green auto start button, that will set everything up, your fan speed will come on, your brushes drop down, your suction head drops down, your water uh, for dust suppression will start spraying. All off the push of that button. That makes it so easy to get set up and running. Now, as I'm actually sweeping then, of course I can fine tune my brush speed here on the top uh, knob. So if I wanted more speed, I can dial that up. I'm going to dial it back down here for what I'm sweeping at the moment. If I need more fan speed, I can adjust that on the next one down. So if I need more suction. And then I can also adjust my ground pressure here. So that's a great option to have. Uh, allows me to add extra pressure onto the brushes, let's say if I'm sweeping some uh, muckier debris, I can adjust that. And all of this is right at my fingertips. 
so it's really, really easy to control. Of course, then I have my two knobs here for adjusting um, each brush individually. So I can bring my left brush out there, bring my right brush out there um, to increase my sweeping width. If I want to, I can bring them all the way in to get the machine as narrow as possible. I'm going to bring them out there here now as well. Just bring my left from there just to maximize my width at the moment. If I want to just lift my suction head up and down, maybe to clear an obstacle, I can press the yellow button here, pops the suction head up, everything else stays on. Press the yellow button again, it drops down again. If I need my maximum suction, I can press the boost mode here. On the red button, that will set the fan right up to as high as it will go. Get maximum suction from the machine. Press it again, it'll just resume the setting I have here on the uh, knob. And then a really nice feature is the cruise speed button. Really nice option to have. So I press that there and the machine will just maintain the speed I was traveling at. If I need to stop, I can just press on the brakes here, bring myself to a halt. That will knock off the cruise speed, or I can just press the button again. And then down here on the right, this machine has the optional extra pressure gauge. Which is measuring the pressure or the suction of the hopper, I should say. So if there's a blockage or something like that, I will see a change in my pressure. And I'll know that I need to check that out and make sure there's no blockage or any problem. So that can be a really quick indicator to the operator that something's not performing as it should. So it's a good option to have for this sweeping application. So I'm just gonna knock my cruise control back on there so I can concentrate on what I'm doing. I've got such good visibility on the machine, I can see exactly where the brushes are, making it really, really easy for me to get the job done. And then a last feature here is that if I wanted to bring my brushes up and my suction head up so I can quickly clear a curve, I just press the green button once, brushes turn off, suction head lifts up, then I put them back down again and start sweeping again, just press the green button again, and then if I want to return to the normal mode and have everything off, I hold down the green button. That deactivates the sweeper, brushes come up, suction turns off, brushes come back in again so they're all the way in, then just switch to neutral and I can go back to drive mode. And that's really all there is to it.